I'm Kat, and my paranormal stories happened in one of the houses I grew up in, uh, which was actually a new house, so no one lived in it before my family did. My mom tended to um, get into the habit of just like sleeping in the living room until I came home, just so she could have peace of mind that I wasn't dead. And I remember I came home one night and she had left um, like a nightlight on in the kitchen for me. And I had come in and turned on the light in the foyer and I could see someone standing in the living room. So I was like, oh God, like I not gonna hear the end of this because it's so late so I like walked in immediately started apologizing just being like mom I'm so sorry like so and so like kept me out late like blah 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 they wanted to talk and then I'm like constantly like I keep apologizing to whoever this is and I realize that they're not responding to me but I could fully see like someone that's roughly the size of my mother like same height same build um just standing there so I'm like okay weird because at this point my mom would be screaming at me for being so late um, and as I get closer I turn on the light in the dining room and I could see the shape just disappear as the lights came on like they just disappeared into nothing and I was like okay and then I went upstairs screaming to my mom just to see if she was home and that's when she started yelling at me because I woke her up and it was two in the morning but um so that was terrifying there was another night where I woke up in the middle of the night because music was like blaring and it was like three in the morning or something and I was like pinned down in my bed like and it was freezing I was like under my blanket pinned my eyes shot open and I could see that thing that like outline of a person at the foot of my bed once again and I was like what the hell is this like I'm gonna die I'm gonna die in my bed and no one's gonna know what it is because no one believes in this goddamn shadow people nonsense so I just like closed my eyes really tight and opened them again and it was gone and I could finally move my body the final time I ever saw it whatever it was a uh, ghost demon I don't I have no idea um, I was actually with a friend we were driving around at night because we had nothing better to do and I remember I was like talking to my friend while he was driving and he was really in, like we were really into the conversation and at one point he looked onto the road and like screamed and swerved and I saw what, like, what he had swerved around was that same shadow person that was standing in the middle of the road. So I was like, okay, well, you saw it as well, so I'm not crazy. And then we, like, freaked out. He took me home and, like, stayed up with me for the rest of the night because, like, neither of us wanted to go to sleep. Of all the things to have a bond with me, it had to be a demon. That's great. Like, fantastic. And that was it. That's the last thing that I have of that house. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and my paranormal experience um, happened in the house I grew up in. So, as most people, um, every time something strange happens, I try to just chalk it up to like the wind or an overactive imagination. And I do have an overactive imagination. Uh, but this one, I just can't seem to do that. The house that I grew up in um, when I was little, I would wake up in the morning and I'd ask my mom, like, why are we crying last night? Why are we crying so much? And she would explain that she wasn't. And because she's my mom and I'm a little kid, I just trusted her. I was like, okay, fine, you weren't crying. So I got older and I started to realize, like, I didn't, I didn't recognize this voice. And there's other women out there other than my mom. So uh, she says she's not crying. She's not crying. It's someone else or something else, I guess. Um, but I always just tried to kind of like brush it off as maybe I'm still in a dream mode or whatever. Later on in my life, I'm sitting at my cottage and I overhear my brother talking to my dad and to his girlfriend. And uh, he, I hear him talking about he, him hearing a woman crying when he'd be asleep in the basement. That's where his bedroom was. He'd hear this woman crying. I'm like, no, that's impossible. I hear a woman crying. So that's when I started to realize, like, hey, maybe this is a little bit more than just me and my kooky imagination. Friends, they said the same thing. They would sleep over and they'd get woken up by someone feeling sad. They'd feel sadness. Uh, they didn't know what it was. So there was a trend here now. Now recently, my partner, he experienced this as well. And the same thing, he, he doesn't believe in anything paranormal. So he's like, yeah, I think I was just tired. I didn't want to tell you, but I heard a, a lady crying last night. Okay, so this is getting out of control. The house that I grew up in, nobody lived there before us. It's just my family. So it's like, where can this be coming from? We have no idea. They were the first ones to move in. 
one on one side it could be just that maybe there's this kind of presence because of where the crying is coming from because of the bedroom at the bottom of those stairs my sister when I was growing up she was really sick and she passed away down there and uh, that was her bedroom so I'm not sure if that could contribute to any type of paranormal experience or anything but that's my only explanation that I have